Yo, what's going on, Kansas? What's going on with y'all? What's going on with y'all? Cancer Cross Watchers. We feel y'all. We feel y'all. We feel y'all watching. Um, who else, though? People just want to know how the cancer energy is being applied to their chart. Solar or natal. You know what I'm saying? All of the cancer titties on the table drinking coffees right now in the cafes, wherever you at. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. I just had to take it there. Don't ask me why. If you know, you know. But look, right? If you need to get in contact with me or you know someone who needs to get in contact with me or they can benefit from being in contact with me based upon how I do here, then there'll be a link to my website in the description box. You can click it. It'll take it to my calendar. You can book an appointment with me via Google Meet. Pause. If you don't want to do the face-to-face -face thing because you got to, you know, you're a little nervous or whatever the case may be, that's understandable. We can do it over the phone. Pause. But we can, you know. I may cuss, but I don't curse, you heard? Let's get that understood first. Bars. It's going to be a three-card draw. I ain't going to hold you long. Under 10 minutes. Pause. Um, with that being said, let's get these cards ready. Bars. Bars, 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 bars. Because I'm nice. I am nice. All right. Let me cut the deck first, though, before we really, really get it on. All right. This first card right here is going to be about the situation at hand for the Cancer Energy. What do we got? Two of Swords in reverse. This card is going to be relative to how you feel about the situation at hand. That's more swords. A lot of heady energy. Pause. That's crazy. But that's the ten of swords in, in reverse, y'all. And this is going to be the factor to consider based upon all of this. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Let me begin to unpack this. This is one of them wands I can see already. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. This is a situation where you kind of got your hands tied. I see like bondage type shit. Hands tied behind your back. Don't, don't even ask me. You probably know better than I do or where that came from. All right. But I know the card says hands folded in front. Blindfolded and all that, which is pretty, hey, yo. But I'm feeling more about you like this with it. And you're delaying something deliberately, intentionally, of course, because you feel... You feel it's necessary. You feel it's necessary to postpone something that I also get the feeling that you know that you're going to do, sort of. But you're waiting for more information. And in order for you to obtain that information, there's a type of silent strategy that you're using. Or it's like, you know, sometimes I tell my clients when I'm doing astrology reads and I tell them a, a secret power of the Scorpio energy is to speak in three word sentences. So I'm getting that as well. And it's just a technique to like get people to speak more. You speak less, they speak more. That's really a gem right there. So don't let this fly over your head, please. But I feel like that's the type of shit that you're on. Not only that, hold on. All right. Hold on. Because this could be somebody else. This doesn't necessarily have to be you. This could be another person. But nonetheless, this is between you and another person. So maybe this is the other person who's using that type of strategy. And they're trying to probe you to get information out of you. More information out of you. Whichever way it goes, it's prolonging some type of decision that's going to be made. It's delaying it. It's really resulting in indecision. And I can't even tell you if there's going to be a decision made anyway but what i can tell you is this someone out of the two realizes that this is a type of escape for them whatever that means to you because escape could be many different things um but i can tell you this what you're escaping from is some type of ruin something was ruined in the past something something was fucked up all right and i'm getting this from could be some back backstabbing some betrayal type shit all right not only that you realize what you have after that past hardship 
all that you have. And you're also realizing that sometimes your fears can come true when you think about them long enough. So you're aware of this and you're like, man, I got to get my thoughts together because I don't want to fuck around and think myself into another situation that I just got out of. You're realizing the power of mentality and what it could do to be in your head so much. Um, At least with pessimistic ideas or dealing with pessimistic people or people that make you feel fucked up. Um, people that make you question yourself, people that don't like what you like. I see the sun here. So represents rules over likes and dislikes. Somebody didn't like what you liked and they were vocal about that. Like, why do you do that? I don't like how you do that. And you know, shit like that. And you're just like, well, what the fuck? What happened to my individuality? You know, maybe that has something to do with this indecision here as well, like maybe is a red flag because you've seen that in the in this other person. To where or you might just have a fear again. This is a fear of thing fears coming true. You might have a fear that they're going to see you like that and you don't even have proof of it yet. But I can tell you this the fact that the consider based upon this, whichever one out of the two need you need to hear this, is that someone right now lacks motivation out of the two of y'all. All right? And it's grounds for, it's laying grounds for being irresponsible in the future. Not being able to carry out one's responsibilities and duties in the future. I don't know what y'all are teaming up to do. I don't know. I don't have those deets. I, I'm, I really, that's just something that y'all are going to have to make fit and piece together. Um, but it's creating an air of instability. It's creating an air, a air of fear. I don't know what y'all, what y'all are basing this um connection on but what i'm getting is going to need some type of grounding this earth card as a factor to consider is showing me it's going to need some type of grounding it's going to need some type of stability but it's so much air energy here with the swords that is too much mind and it can't stand over the matter because there's going to be a failure to, to manifest if y'all don't get this shit together if y'all don't communicate what you need to communicate. I'm getting... You see how the sword, one of them is leaning towards the moon? Someone's holding back on their emotions. Afraid that when they when they be themselves, the individuality associated with the sun, that they're going to experience something that they encountered before and the person backstabbed them, betrayed them, some shit like that. Um... But whoever is showing the fear is going to be on the chopping block for being lazy and not wanting to do the damn thing. Hope that helped everybody that's watched. Until next time, I'm out.